Hey guys, I want to talk about the importance of oral hygiene when you get implants, okay? Um, I have been using Denture Fit on the top uh, plate just because it's a lot easier for me with these implants to pop it in in the morning and go. I ran out, so this morning I used some adhesive. And when I got home, I needed to go ahead and pull it out, uh, brush my teeth, uh, clean my denture, and then put it back in. And um, I noticed, I've told you before, there was a really, really bad stench up there around these uh, implants. So here's what I've done. I went ahead and gargled with salt water. You want to make sure, um, you know, right after surgery especially, you're gargling after extractions and after you have your implants put in. You want to make sure you're gargling at least four times a day with warm salt water. That is very, very, very important, okay? Um, I'm at the point now where I'm gargling twice a day. When I brush in the morning before I put my plate in, and then at night when I take my plate out, um, and brush my teeth, um, I gargle, okay? So I just took my plate out, brushed, gargled with salt water, and um, I had some adhesive all around these implants, okay? People have asked me before, and I know I've done a video on this, but I'm going to just repeat myself. The easiest way to get adhesive off and I wished I would have known this before about a month ago, is Dr. B's Clean It Up. If you take a little bit and put it on a toothbrush and you brush your gums, it will come right off, guys. I'm telling you, this stuff's fantastic. Um, so, that's what I did. I took some Dr. B's Clean It Up, got the adhesive off around the implants. Now, I want to show you, I pulled the caps, the healing caps off. And because there was a bad, they need to be cleaned. I've got them soaking. This is a little bit of Listerine. Here's the healing caps. Now you'll notice there's only five there. I've got six implants. One of my healing caps um, is kind of up in the gum. And each time he pulls it off at the dentist, it's a little tough to get back on. So I'm scared to take that one off. But while these are soaking... I'm going to take a toothbrush and brush the post of these implants good. And let me show you. I don't know if I've showed you what the posts look like. Uh, okay. Hang on a second and I'm going to, I'll take you with me and show you how I'm going to, how I brush. Okay, hang on. Okay guys, I'm back. We're going to brush these uh, implant posts real good. With the, I got an extra soft toothbrush. Dr. B's cleaning it in. This stuff, um, I've told you before, it's really, really, really soft. You do not want to use toothpaste on these implants. It is too abrasive. If you take um, toothpaste or whatever you're going to use, and you take a tiny bit out. Okay, let me show you. If you rub it in between your fingers... If you feel that it is gritty or feels like sand, that's too abrasive. Way too abrasive for your gums and for implants. Or especially for implants, but for your gums too. Okay? So, I'm going to put a little bit of Dr. B's on here. A little bit of water. And... I'm going to rush this just like it's regular teeth, guys. It does not hurt. This is really, really soft. Toothbrush is soft. So is the um, paste. Okay.
I'll be back. Okay, guys. I got a cup. I've done this before, but I'm going to show you again. With some salt, a little bit of salt in it. I'm going to put some warm water in here, and I'm going to gargle. And I'm going to keep this running because I want to show you um, how easy it is to snap these uh, healing caps back on once they've done soaked, okay? I'll be right back. I'm, I'm not going to show this because I've showed you before. All right, guys, we're going to put the healing caps back on. I've got them laying right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to do it in the camera here. And you guys can see how easy it is to get them back on if you ever have to use this. Now, there's a little divot down here, which you can't see because my fingers are fat. I take and put this in between my fingernails. That's the only way I can get it on. Okay. Oh, God. There's one on. I'm going to have to do it with this kind of up so I can see better. Okay. Two. We got three more. And they just, it's almost, it's not a magnet, but it almost is. It's almost like a magnet. Okay, we got two more guys. Sorry I'm showing you up my nose. <laughs> Hang on. One more. This one's gonna be tough because it's over on this side. I'm trying to Got it. Done. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I pretty much showed you my nighttime routine. From a little different from what I, I do not pull those healing caps off every night, okay? Because it's time consuming, and you don't have to. If you are in a situation like me where you get implants, okay, the, when you're at the healing cap process, let me kind of explain it to you. For those of you that may not have seen my other videos, you get the implants placed, okay, and you'll have uh, stitches, okay. They'll put the implants in and you'll have stitches. You go back and get the stitches out um, and then that has to heal. Then at some point, once you, the dentist has determined you are healed enough, they go in and they uncover the implants. When they put them in, most of the time, you're not going to be able to see them. Like when you go home right after implant surgery, if you raise your uh, lip up and look at your gum, most of the time you won't be able to see those implants until they uh, uncover them. You go and have them uncovered, and what they do is they take and they trim the gum away from the implants. Once they do that, they put these healing caps on. That's what you saw me take off and pop back on, okay? I have been at this level, or this particular um um, I can't think of what I want to say, but I've had the healing caps on since March, I believe. I think it's been March. They were uncovered in March, and he put the healing caps on, okay? So, and that's been March, April, May, June. It's been about four months. If you are like me, and you get your implants uncovered and get healing caps on. If you're on in healing caps for four months like me, you need to make sure you pull these off, soak them like I did, and brush really, really good around these implant posts. And you definitely need to make sure you're gargling with salt water twice a day. 
I've heard people talk about they're worried they don't want to get implants they're worried they're gonna fail well most of the time when implants fail it's because of people not taking good care of their mouth not having good oral hygiene I mean there are other reasons it can happen but most of the time it's because they people get them and they get an infection so I have been really meticulous about these saltwater wrenches I told you when I first got the implants, it was four times a day. And I kept up with that for quite some time. I didn't go till two times a day until I was pretty confident that I was healed um, almost completely. So I just kind of wanted to give you an insight. Now, m most likely when you get implants, you're, it's, you're not, it's going to be different than my situation. My situation was like this because the dentist that started my surgery sold the practice and another dentist took over and it has kind of taken me longer than prob it would probably take a normal person so but that's how you take them off they snap right on and off really easy um, soak them in some Listerine and then brush around the post real good snap them back in and you're good to go so if anybody has any questions just leave them in the comments um, I will be doing a video tomorrow to let you guys know about um, the big 4th of July giveaway. So, you all have a great night. Have a great day tomorrow and be safe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.